Uh, hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video over here, I'm going to be explaining to you uh, how do you uh, install your uh, bicycle carrier and at the same time the, the bicycle basket which is going to be mounted on top of the uh, the carrier over here. Uh, by the way, if it is your first time here, hit that uh, subscribe and like button if you found this useful because I'm going to guide you through the process so you're a lot more confident how you get this thing installed. Oh, before we go, uh, by the way, before we go any further over here, I'm going to tell you what you're going to need over here. So right here, I have the wrench number 10, wrench number 10, and then you have a wrench number 9. Hope this thing is focusing right here. And let me tell you what I'm doing over here. So let's grab this uh, wrench number 9, and let me tell you why you're going to need number 9. So if you look over here, uh, there's a screw here, number 9 over here, and let me show you it fits, just so you know, see? It, it does fit and uh, on this bike over here because it's a Japanese bike uh, the, uh, the they built a frame somehow over here so that you read on the other side he has a treaded he has a treaded uh, uh, housing for the screw to go in now I'm gonna try to get that uh, from this angle over here and it's right here if you look over there on this side over here this is the part I'm talking about over here See, it's, it's got the threaded hole where the screw will come in. And basically you have the screw coming here on this side over here, which is right here. And you will just have to put the screw through and, and, and thread it, I mean, tighten it over here, which will secure the, the lower legs of the, of the carrier. See, these are the lower legs that will be um, mounted onto your uh, rear dropouts. Where, where, whereas this screw will tighten it and secure it in this place over here. So that's one of the reasons why you need uh, wrench number 9. Let's just get this thing to focus now. See, this is number 9 over here. Now let's put this uh, thing aside. And I'm going to show you now uh, wrench number 10. See, you got the wrench number 10. So let's get back and re rehearse. So once you have tightened screw number 1, screw number 2 on the other side... So there's one on this side, one on that side. There's only one more thing to be done, which is this over here, this screw over here. Uh, so let me explain to you what's happening. Uh, this screw over here it, it is controlling uh, whether or not uh, the carrier will move back and forth. A and once you have it secured right over here, uh, the carrier cannot uh, go up and down anymore. So keep that in mind. That's really a nice... Uh, benefit of this uh, kind of clamp over here whereas it won't allow it to go uh, up and down so what I will do over here see I have a, I have a wrench number 10 and let me just show you over here, over here what I'm talking about see beautiful see how it fits in snug and tight very very nice and you just basically have to tighten it over here hard so let's just recap you have a one screw over here you have one screw a second screw at the bottom and over here there's a third one and once you have them all secured, you're basically good to go. So I'm going to try to get this on camera, but if you look, this is, this is pretty tight. And keep in mind, this is the, big, the, the, the bigger basket. Now if I hold it over here, this thing doesn't move and I'm trying to wiggle it. So this thing is really nice and secured. And I will, what I will do, I will try to find a similar one because this is a really unique kind of vintage uh, made, in, made in England carrier. But what I will do for you guys... On Amazon, I will try to get one similar package like this. Whereas you can uh, look look it up and you can install it on your bike. And here you go. You can get the groceries inside. You can put all, anything you want in there. And again, this is going to be a quick overview over here. How you get your uh, bicycle carrier uh, and a basket installed. Now, just to wrap up over here, uh, they used some clamps. See over here? There are some clamps over here. And same on the other side here. To tighten the uh, the basket with, with the carrier so it's nice and secured and then you're pretty much all good to go and this is pretty much it so you have three screws that you have to focus on three bolts I would say and you're all good and you're all set hope you find this useful like subscribe give me a thumbs up and have a lovely day bye bye